A very pleasant good evening to everyone. We are finally a biomedical student studying in SRM University. We would like to demonstrate our project that is the study of thermal effects of electromagnetic radiation from mobile phones on human head using IR thermal camera. The aim is to study about the thermal effects of electromagnetic radiation on human head from mobile phone using the infrared thermal camera. The objective of our study is to analyze the thermal images and to find the temperature increase before and after the exposure of electromagnetic radiation radiated from three different mobile phone X, Y and Z. To theoretically calculate the maximum temperature rise using bioheat equation and to compare practical as well as the theoretical temperature rise. To find out which mobile emits the highest radiation and to find the most affected area on the right side of the face through image processing using MATLAB. To find the materials that has the capability to absorb the electromagnetic radiation and reduce the heating effect. This is the methodology we are following. Mobile phones are selected. 10 male subjects are chosen. The subjects are allowed to use the phone for 5, 15 and 30 minutes on different days. Thermal image before and after using the mobile phones are captured. Temperature variation from thermal images are found. The maximum theoretical temperature it is calculated from bioheat equation. Practical and the theoretical temperature values are compared. The mobile which emits the highest radiation is found. Before making the experiment, we have to follow this procedure. Maintain the room temperature as 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Note down the core body temperature from underarm using thermometer. Ensure that the subject had breakfast at least an hour before the experiment. The male subject should have shaved on the previous night and not on the day the experiment is conducted. Make the subject hold the phone on the right side of their head. Ensure that the subject do not move or rotate their head. Take an image before the call and after the call immediately taking out the mobile from direct contact from the ear. Make sure that you click only one image. Maintain one meter distance between the subject and the camera. While taking the images, the subject should not possess any metallic things like watch, ring, ornaments, etc. This is the tabulation we are making to compare the temperature difference like after capturing the thermal images. The first column represents the temperature before the call and the second column represents the temperature after the call and the third column is the temperature rise that is the difference between the temperature before and after the call. The first image represents the temperature which is taken before the 30 minutes call and the second image which is captured after making the 30 minutes call. Yeah, like when we compare in the first image the temperature is 36.2 in the second image it is 37.5 like comparing both the images the temperature rise from the carotid gland up to the forehead and like the red and the white region in the second image shows that they are the mostly affected region on the face this is another example so while comparing the thermal images that is before and after making the call we found that the temperature increases from forehead to the carotid gland but the highest temperature was noted across the ear skull region especially on the concha region this graph represents the temperature rise between the three brands for five minutes talk this is a comparison graph between the three brands for 15 minutes talk This graph represents the temperature rise comparison between the three brands for 30 minutes talk. So if you notice the temperature uh, which is the temperature rise it is low in the mobile X when we compare with the other two mobiles. So the mobile X emits the low radiation compared to mobile Y and Z. Bioheat transfer is a study of heat transfer in biological system. Like the electromagnetic radiation which is emitted from the mobile phone, it induces the heating effect which causes the heating of the blood. We find the maximum temperature rise using this bioheat equation. It is calculated from the following formula. 
This tabulation is a comparison of the experimental maximum temperature rise with the maximum temperature rise calculated using the bioheat equation. So the maximum temperature in mobile X is 0 0.7 which is quite higher than the maximum temperature which is calculated from bioheat equation. In case of mobile Y and Z, the temperature it is lesser when compared to the maximum temperature from bioheat equation. The theoretical value it is greater than the practical value in mobile Y and Z. These images are the segmented images. Like we segment the concha region separately as it is the most affected region which has the highest temperature rise compared to other region on the right side face. In order to reduce the electromagnetic effect and reduce the thermal effect, we use this clear quartz crystal which has the capability of absorbing the electromagnetic radiation. These crystals are placed near the antenna which can observe the electromagnetic radiation which is emitted from the mobile phone. Coming to the conclusion, we found there is an increase in temperature from forehead to the carotid gland. The high temperature increase was noted across the ear region especially on concha which is above the ear lobe. The maximum temperature in mobile X exceeds the temperature calculated from the bioheat equation but it is quite near to the value. Comparing with the bioheat equation, the maximum temperature, it is less than the maximum temperature which is theoretically calculated for mobile Y and Z. Mobile X emits the low electromagnetic radiation compared with mobile Y and Z. The mobile with the low SIR value should be preferred irrespective of their price. Longer the duration we use the mobile, it induces the more electromagnetic radiation which increase the temperature by heating the skin tissue. In order to avoid the heating effect, we should use this uh, clear quartz crystal to reduce which has the capability of absorbing the electromagnetic radiation. Thank you for watching the video.